Is your PC running sluggish or did you download something funny on there and that won't even boot up? Well, I'm gonna show you how to reset and refresh your PC so it's like new again. This is how to do it all. So for whatever reason, your PC will start to run more slowly over time. Countless updates and apps that run in the background that you might not even know about slow down your PC's performance to the point where it could drive you nuts. Well, Windows 10 does give you some options for resetting your PC back to its old glory days, but it does come at a cost to your time and your patience. To reset your PC, click on the Start Menu icon, then click on Settings. Find Update and Security at the bottom of the window and open it. Select Recovery on the left. Click on the Get Started button under Reset This PC. You are now asked to choose an option. You can either choose to keep my files, which will remove all your apps and settings, but will keep all of your saved files, or you can choose to remove everything, which will erase all your personal files, apps, and settings. If you need help deciding which one to choose, you can click on Help Me Choose at the bottom of the window, which will take you to a Microsoft webpage with more detailed information about what to do if you're having problems with your PC. So I want to keep all my personal files on this PC, so I'm going to choose Keep My Files. Now before you start this process, make sure your computer is plugged into power. Now you are asked how would you like to reinstall Windows. You can choose Cloud Download, which will install Windows from the cloud, or you can choose Local Reinstall, which will reinstall Windows from an image of Windows on your PC. The Local Reinstall is the faster option of the two. So I'm going to choose Local Reinstall because it's a little bit faster. Now an additional settings window pops up and shows you what you have chosen to do and gives you the option to change settings if needed. If all looks okay, click next. Your PC will now say ready to reset this PC and lists all the things that will happen to your PC during the reset. You can also view all the apps that will be removed in case you want to change your mind or write them down to re-download them later. Click Next and your PC will begin to reset itself. Now this could take many hours, so sit back, relax, maybe go take a walk, come back later, it's gonna be a while. Once your PC has been reset, you will see the start screen and you will need to enter your PIN. All of your personal files will be there waiting for you. You just need to re-download all those apps to open those files and you'll be golden in no time. Now if you choose to not keep your personal files and you want to erase everything on your PC like it's brand new again, after you choose the local install or cloud install and you arrive at the additional settings screen, click on the change settings button and slide the switch under clean data and press confirm. This will make Windows 10 clean your hard drive after deleting all your files so no one can recover them in the future. This is permanent. I can't stress that enough. This is permanent, you're not going back. And it takes much longer to complete the reset. Click next and then reset and then sit back and wait. Ooh. When the process is done, your PC will be like new, and Cortana will start asking you questions about how you want to set up your computer. Hi there, I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. Now, if your computer's in really bad shape and you can't get to settings because it won't even boot up or it's stuck in a loop, there's still a way to reset it. Here's how. After your computer fails three times to boot up, you will then see a screen that says Recovery. Select See Advanced Repair Options, then select Troubleshoot. You are then given the option to reset this PC and you can go through all the steps we've already laid out earlier in the video. If you choose advanced options, there are other methods of recovering your computer like restoring to a previous restore point, uninstalling recent apps that were installed, system image recovery, so you don't necessarily have to reset your computer. Now this video is about resetting your PC, so I'm not gonna get into those other recovery methods, but I recommend making a restore point or a system image for safekeeping. If you found this video helpful, leave us a like, ring that bell for more videos from How To Do It All, and if you have any tips or tricks for resetting your PC, please leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching.